Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm sharing a money card template with you. And what I love about this template is that it's quick and simple to put together, but it can also easily be customized and personalized so that you can use this for just about anything. Birthdays, weddings, baby showers, holidays, teacher appreciation week, really anything you can think of. So this is gonna be a template that you're going to wanna keep on hand, and you can grab it from my site at svgnation.com, and I have left a link in the video description that's gonna take you directly there, along with links to the supplies that I'm using today in case you wanna check any of those out. So once you have that uploaded to Cricut Design Space, go ahead and add that to your canvas. And the first thing that you're gonna to need to do is ungroup your layers. Whenever you bring an SVG file in, you're gonna to need to ungroup the layers if you wanna modify it. And so right here are these lines, if you click right here, these are gonna be our score lines. So go ahead and change the operation right here to score. And we will have to attach those to the layer, but first we want to get the text ready to attach as well. And then this piece right here, this one's just gonna cut your pattern paper. Um, so we don't need to make any modifications to that. So for the text, um, you will notice that there are several files um, that say different things. So if you don't wanna to have to customize it, there are some kind of little standard ones in there. And so for that, all you're gonna do is go to your operation and change that to pen. And you can change this right here. You can change your pen type. You'll select your pen type here and then the color here, which I'm just gonna use my standard black. Um, but if you're using multiple colors, it's really important that you do change those colors because that's what tells the Cricut what color it needs to write in. Okay, so all you would do is attach all of this together and this card would be ready to cut. But really quickly, I wanna show you how you can add your own message on here. So all you're gonna do is click on this and delete that layer. And if you go into your text, we're gonna type congratulations. I do already have this set on a writing text. We'll just do something like on your baby boy. So maybe this is for like a baby shower. So once you have your text, go ahead and click on these. You will need to change them to a writing font. Um, right here, if you go into your fonts and you click on Cricut and you click this filters right here, if you click writing, that's gonna bring up all your writing fonts. If you want a free one because you don't have Cricut access or you don't wanna pay for one, then go ahead and check free as well. And that's gonna bring up all your free Cricut writing fonts. And you can just search for those right there. Um, if you don't see anything you like here, I do have a few that I downloaded on my computer that are free that work great for writing. And I'm gonna leave a link to that blog post that links like 10 different ones that I love to use. Um, and I'm gonna leave that link in the description. So that's what I'm gonna use here. And when you download those, you're actually gonna find those in your system fonts because you're downloading them on your Cricut. Um, so I'm just gonna search for the name of the ones that I want to use. And I'm just gonna change my font for this. And once I changed my font, because this is not a stored writing font in Cricut, you still do have to change your operation right here to pen. And I'm gonna keep this font, but I do need to change that to pen. So if I wanted to write on your baby boy in a different font than congratulations, then I need to find that font color here and I need to change that. Um, so let's just say I wanted to write it in orange instead. Um, and again, that's so your Cricut knows how to write. And we just need to resize these. Oops. You have to grab by the corners. Ah, my other design software, you can grab anywhere else. So sometimes I get confused. We'll just kind of line those up. Um, I think I want to make that C capital. So all I did is double click in here. And that lets me edit inside the text box. And now I'm just going to select both of these. That way I can align these. Oops, wrong center. Huh. It is this one right here. Oh, I did the same one. Okay, this one, sorry. Huh. And now let's just resize this smaller. All right, so once you have that and you like the way it looks, um, another suggestion is adding a fun little message under the money. So, you know, a little su extra surprise for them after they take out the money. Um, but once you have everything done, you do need to click on your text layers and your card and make sure those score lines are selected as well and attach all of those together. So once you're done, go ahead and click on make it. And before you start cutting, go ahead and go to this one right here and make sure that everything looks right, that everything, your score lines are in the correct spot and your text is in the correct spot. If it's not, then you need to go back and attach it because it's not gonna cut properly. So if everything looks good, go ahead and continue and cut everything. When you use tools like the scoring stylus and pen with your Cricut, 
Um, Design Space is going to give you prompts letting you know when and where to insert each tool. So just follow those prompts. And that's why it's really important that you assign the pen different colors if you want to use different colors because it is going to tell you when to put in like the blue pen, the red pen, or whatever color you assigned it. So just follow those prompts and switch out your tools. And after you switch it out, all you're going to do is press that flashing Cricut button to resume the process. You're not actually going to remove the mat until after the Cricut has finished the final step for that piece of cardstock. And the final step is going to be cutting it out. And then once everything is cut out, you're going to start by folding on both of your score lines for that money holder. And you want to fold these in so that they cover the text on the inside of your card. And if you have a brayer tool, use that or something similar to get a really good fold. Um, that way these will lay a little bit flatter. And then you're going to glue that pattern paper to the front of your card. And if you're using like a liquid glue like me, you can use your finger to kind of smooth the glue out for a smoother finish. But of course you don't have to do this if you don't want to get your finger messy. It just kind of helps it go down really, really smooth. So I like to do that. And again, I'm going to use my brayer tool to smooth this down really well. And then you're just going to add that cash in and you're just lighting that under the slots. And then to close this, you're just going to fold the bottom piece over and then the top piece and then use that slit to hold it in place. And that's all there is to it. Um, and the envelope is just as easy, so you're just going to fold on all four of the score lines. And then you're going to fold those two side pieces in and then you're going to glue that bottom flap on over both of those side pieces to close it together. And then when you're ready to seal this, you can just use a little bit of glue or even double-sided tape. Um, if you're mailing it, then I recommend the glue option. Um, but if you're just giving it to somebody, then double-sided tape will work well. Or even just use a sticker to close it. Um, so this is super easy, but it's really a great template to keep on hand because you can use any paper to make it any situation you want it to make. So if you just need to give a quick thank you gift or you know want to send some money for Christmas, it's just super easy to customize, it's easy to put together, so it's just a little template that I love. Um, but before you guys go, make sure that you like this video, and hey, say hi in the comments. I feel like I haven't heard from you guys much lately, um, but I love hearing from you guys. And if you guys have any questions, um, then leave those in the comments as well, and I will answer them there. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.